Welcome, I am the Munchen King. I need poo poo. However, Nightwish story time. This was requested by Sidewinder of the Century. He has a reaction channel. Why don't you check him out? He shows his face. Ha 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 ha. However, I have not reacted to a Nightwish music video before. Plenty of live performances, but not an official video. So, I'm not sure if Sidewind wanted or specified whether it was to be live or not. So I took this opportunity to take the opportunity. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Imaginarium. Is this a circus or a carnival? Is that a Jack Sparrow? Thantom! That's a Thantom! Snow White! Ah! I think I'm getting it. There are characters as if in a story. From different stories, possibly. Clowns! Pending Imaginarium! Is that the name of an album? You know, the thing I like about uh, Nightwish uh, is the fact that they have layers that makes the music interesting. If you notice at the beginning, uh, it started off one, then it had this guitar riff on top, and then it got more intense as it came uh, up to this, um, is this the bridge or the chorus? I would guess the bridge. But uh, they always take you on that journey. And it's, um, it keeps things uh, refreshing to your soul. And it, they really know how not to make things boring. And that should always be your goal in your life, wouldn't you say? Let's go. Creepy face! Whoa! That's another thing I really like about Nightwish. They, they know how to slow things down and then make them speed off into the setting sun of your insanity. They, they play with their tempos. They play with their genre. They play mix and match and do all sorts of different uh, fusions and it's really a joy to experience because you don't know quite what is coming next from you. I will say about this song, it sounds a bit more, a little bit more popish than I'm used to from Nightwish. Not a bad thing, but, well not a bad, I'm just pointing it out, it sounds, it sounds a bit more melodic. Um, another thing about Nightwish, always very theatrical, and this video really does allow them to show a bit of that creativity that they 
that uh, in a way that they can't on stage. Um, you know, we're seeing these uh, crazy clowns. I hear they are very in fashion at the moment, creepy clown, killer clowns. But uh, we see, seems to be a behind the scenes sort of look at how things are created. Um, I think that was a prosthetic face, is that the word? Maybe that's not the word, but a constructed creature. And we see this guy pulling something, creating... Is this a uh, carnival? I asked this at the beginning. Imaginarium, that's the word. I'm not certain what that is. If you tell me what that is, I'll give you... I'll give you a cheese for you. Changing things up. We have a new instrument coming in. This uh, sort of operatic, dramatic feeling we're getting here reminds me of the X Factor. The, you know, the, the, um, the introduction music, the theme song. The X Factor is a singing contest show. Um, Reminds me of the the drama of that because it's quite dramatic usually, and I think it it uh, I'm not sure. Well, the X Factor music that comes from they stole that music from something else. I forgot the name. Um, so maybe it's inspired along the same sort of uh, thread, shall we say? It surely does fit the the, the thematics of this. Um, it looks like they're filming some sort of movie, but, but then I don't know what movie this is. What could this movie be? I want to see it terribly. It's building! It's building! Showing off her vocals there. Ah, good, good for you. There we have it, Nightwish story time. That was really quite refreshing from Nightwish because uh, it always, usually is refreshing. Every, every, every song, every track has its own sort of theme, its journey, its adventure it takes you on. But this one was refreshing in a way because it felt more popish. The chorus sounded more mainstream, sort of catchy, and I liked it. Um, I don't. A lot of the other songs are very big or very dramatic, or this was as well, but what I mean in a vocal way, in a way where you can't really sing along to it to the extent that you can in this this song right here um when did this come out 2011 this was uploaded so it's interesting it was quite a while ago <clears throat> usually most of my reactions to nightwish have been to floor singing i think i only did one when it was uh when it was this singer i forgot her name I did a solo reaction to her recently and I still don't remember. Um, anyway, whatever her name is, it really um, 
showed off the fun side to the band uh, because usually when I think of Nightwish it's not really fun I mean they are fun but I wouldn't call them fun in one word it would be sort of uh, dramatic uh, or theatrical and this had those elements certainly but it felt um, it reminded me of every Levine song, Paramore, a bit, a bit like Paramore in the sort of way it, it, um, it catches you and it makes you, makes you feel a certain way and makes you want to sing along to your heart's content. If I only knew what she was saying. Was she speaking English? I wonder. I hope not because I didn't catch one word of it. But tell me your thoughts. Show me your crimes and remember, remember your mother and uh, your cucumber. Farewell, my munchins. Take care, my munchins. <laughs> <laughs>